One of the major concerns of both physicians and patients is the question, are there long-term toxicities that we need to worry about on a particular chemotherapy? So let's talk about those and how we've tried to mitigate those. One of the issues that we're most concerned about, both as patients and physicians, is the question, are there long-term toxicities of me deciding to take this chemotherapy that at some point I'll be sorry and say, why did I ever do that? Thankfully, with the regimens we've developed, one of the issues have been to try to pick regimens and individual drugs that indeed don't have long-term toxicities. Adriamycin is a drug we use much less often now, and it had some potential heart problems that now we rarely see because lower uses of, of adriamycin. Other issues such as fertility need to be discussed, obviously in younger women, especially if they want to have children in the future. Peripheral neuropathy or nerve damage is something that needs to be addressed during chemotherapy, especially with the taxane group of drugs. Chemo brain, where women worry that their brain's not going to work someday, tends to be, if, if an issue at all, sort of a nuisance issue. Uh, and it's hard to separate that out from just getting older and the stress of life and maybe the stress of the whole breast cancer experience. So thankfully, we're, we're not left with a lot of long-term worries. Once the woman's finished the chemotherapy, she can be pretty well assured that nothing terrible is going to happen because of her decision to take that chemotherapy. Hi, I'm Dr. Jay Harness, and I want to share with you important information that I believe that every newly diagnosed patient with breast cancer needs to know. I'm a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. And I want every woman to know about personalized breast cancer treatment and the genomic test. A test that helps guide a woman and her doctor to the best treatment options for her. Pass it on.